If you woke up this morning thinking, I wish I could have the superpower of removing backgrounds from my images in Bubble, well, you're in luck, because in this video, you're going to learn how to do just that. First things first, head over to remove.bg and sign up for an account. Once you've done so, head over into your uh, My Account area. You get a little bit of uh, credits to get started, 50 previews and then one full credit. The full credit is what returns the image back, which we'll see in this video. Uh, navigate to API keys, click create a new API key. Um, that works for me. And I'll just copy this and use it for the API connector. Next, over in your bubble dashboard, this is a very newbie friendly video. In fact, we're going so much as to add the API connector plugin for the first time. This is a fresh install and let's go and add an API. The API I wanna add is background remover. And it's going to, sure, we'll give it a shared header. And next thing you wanna do for that is use in this key area, X dash API dash key. And then for the value, this handy uh, copied key. And you'll wanna get your own or this one, you know, it's not on a paid account. You could use some of these credits here if you really wanted to. Um, I don't care. So this will be the uh, remove, remove it API call. No, we'll just say remove it. We're gonna run that as an action and it sends things back as a uh, array buffer. So we're gonna choose file. We'll use post here. And then just to make things a little bit quicker, what I'm gonna actually do here over at remove.bg, if you go to forward slash API, um, you will be able to, let's just take a look here. Yes, indeed, it is this. So we'll say easy to integrate, blah, blah, blah. Or actually, you're just gonna take this curl code and in case you didn't know, you, we're going to uh, give ourselves a little bit of a leg up. It doesn't actually work perfectly. And in fact, that's because I actually want this one with the image URL. That's the better one. So getting used to uh, navigating around this API um, connector plugin is a really great bubble skill. Okay, that's what I want. So that's that's my body. Here we can see that. I've already inserted that. They didn't, you know, it, it doesn't always work perfectly, but uh, I got a pretty good start. And then so now I can take that and this, let's see, this is going to be the, the URL that I post this to. Okay, cool. So uh, well, the one thing I want to do here is I want to actually make this a... Um, a field so that way we can pull this from the database and we'll need to initialize this. So let me go ahead and get this onto a URL. Okay, and for testing purposes, what you can do is you can just head over to this data tab here, head to file manager, upload a file, and then right click, uh, open link a new tab, grab that. That's just my suggestion um, of what you might try. You can also just host a URL somewhere else, but I'll pop that in here. And in doing so, Let's go ahead and fire this off. And we'll get back a response. Cool. So we have this preview here. If we preview that, let's see if we, uh, you know, we'll actually try that again as an image. Because I believe, yep, there we go. Okay, so we can see that that actually did it. And what it did is it returned an image for us. Now, if we head back to our account, it actually used my one credit. So uh, you might wanna, I'm gonna go ahead and log out and I'm gonna change the API key. And with a new API key in there, um, we don't actually have to reinitialize the call. It's really just wanna call, um, if you noticed that before, it's when you change something in the call itself. So we're just gonna go uh, use this now. So. Over in our, AP, uh, our UI, I'm going to share uh, the setup that I have. So we can see here on our layers, we have, let's see, we have a picture uploader, just a standard picture uploader from the input for, uh, forms area. We have a button that has not been wired up or any workflows yet. Two pieces of text just labeling this will be, uh, I've given it picture A's value. So when something gets uploaded here, we'll see it in this uh, box. And then this image here, 
I saved, I'll do this one on screen here. So actually what I want to do here is I'm going to create a new custom state and I'll just say this is the um, image no background. Mm -hmm. And I could, you know, I could do some other stuff, but I, I just want to do this for the workflow. So when we get the thing back, so we'll say this is an image. When we get the image back, we will store it into this state. And, you know, in your world of data, um, obviously do as you will for this. And we'll just show it off in this example, using a custom state to fill in this value here. Okay, so when this button is hit, what we want to have happen is we want to use this background remover and we want picture uploaders a value. And once we run that API call, we'll set a state after it. And that will be the state that we just created. We'll give it the result of step ones, just the result of step one. It evaluates to an image. It comes back as an image. Let's see if we can't save this to S3. That's fine. So we'll save it on. What that means is when you have a image type that is, well, when you have a data type that is image, if you save it as S3, it'll save it to your uh, bubble uh, set, uh, storage server um, so that it's like actually on bubble and it's in your world. It's not, you know, because sometimes people, you know, save an image on their server for seven days and you can use it, but here we'll save it forever. Cool. So now let's go out and, okay, an image and we've got a third image here that we will upload into our uploader. And we'll see that show up here on the bottom left. Cool. And then let's go ahead and watch this step-by-step. -step. Remove background. Run next. And okay, so we need an HTTPS. Got it, got it. All right, so something good to note. Sometimes it does need one, sometimes it does not. So in this case, we do need one. And we'll just re-upload that. Watch our step-by-step -step go. Run next, great, run next, run next. Cool, so there we have it. We saw that we successfully created an API call with remove.bg, sent off an image, had it come back, stored it in this case, just in a state variable. We could store it anywhere in our database, whatever we think, uh, however we'd like to use it. And uh, that's it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, it mean a lot, subscribe to the channel, and thanks so much for watching.